and welcome to the Museum at Home, where we show you how to do some of our museum programming at home with materials that you probably already have around the house. My name is Riley, and today we're going to be showing you what to do with all these plastic bags. I'm sure, like you or like me, lots of people have a bag of bags in their house, myself included, the museum included, okay? So, what do we do with all of these? They're not very good for the environment, and I'm going to show you why. So, one of the things is that these don't break down in the environment very easily. They can take years to recycle on their own. The other thing, too, is they end up in our oceans, and they end up looking sort of like jellyfish. So, you have creatures like sea turtles who might think that it's jellyfish and eat it, and that's not really good for our environment or the poor turtles. So, I'm going to show you something you can do with plastic bags very easily and the creativity is just all over the place of what you can do with these. So let's get started. The first thing, you don't need all of these bags. You're going to grab three. So I'm going to grab three bags. Okay. And what you're going to do is we are going to layer them down and create textiles. So textiles are fabrics where you can make some. So anything that you can make with standard textiles, you can actually make with recycled bags. So you could put something like this through a sewing machine. You could hand sew it. I'm gonna show you how to use the iron to make your own seams on it. All kinds of things. You can make bracelets. You can make little fun bags or pouches or whatever you like. Yes, I know it's a bag, so why would you make another bag out of it? But it's reusable, it's stronger, and it's better for the environment, and why not? Okay, so we're going to layer our bags. So I have some parchment paper here just to protect the table. You can use a towel, a blanket, anything to make sure that your table is protected. And we're going to layer the bags on top of each other like this. Now, when you get to the end, so I have here, I don't want the logo showing on the outside because I want it to be that gray color. So I'm going to face it down, okay? All right. So flatten it as best as you can. Then what you're going to do is take some parchment paper and put it over top. Now, it's important that you use parchment paper and not wax paper because when you add the heat from the iron to the wax paper, you're just gonna get wax everywhere and it's gonna melt and destroy your creation. I'm just putting a second piece up here so that I can cover that whole space. Okay. All right. Now we're going to grab our irons. So our iron, you want it on a steam setting, okay? And I'm just going to iron it down. So this may take a little bit, that's okay. You wanna make sure that you get it as flat as possible and stay on your parchment paper. Okay, and you don't need to go too fast. Okay, I'm gonna do the top part. So let's check this out. All right. So how you know if it's good to separate and flip over to the other side is just if everything feels like it's on there. So I can't really pull these apart very well. That's a good sign, okay? So let's flip it and we're going to do the other side as well. So the exact same thing we just did, we're going to do it again. 
So what this is doing is it's heating up the plastic and it's kind of creating like an adhesive. So they're sticking together, melting into one another. So it becomes like a thicker material. So it's still a little crinkly here at the top, but over here you can, I don't know if you can hear the difference. It's a little stiffer. Still sounds like a bag. So I'm just gonna go and iron that top part just a bit more. Maybe for a little longer. Much better. Okay. Alrighty. So now we have our fabric. And this is where you get the fun parts. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with this. Some people do this where you can cut it up into strips, like this one here. And we could make a wristband. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do is we're going to create a seam. So what you'll do is you'll cut it into a strip. I'm going to leave this one because I'm going to do something bigger with this one. So I'll show you with this. So I'm going to make this a little bit more even. Okay. And measure it around my wrist, okay? Now you don't wanna have it too tight because then you can't pull it off and you'll have to rip it to take it off. So make it so that you're, you've got a little bit of room. Having it up, up here by your palm is a good way to do that. Okay, so then I'm going to cut it at that spot. Now you can have a friend help you as well. So then I'm going to close that off and put it on a piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the iron and just kind of heat up one of those, sorry, those edges. So what that's going to do is sort of like how we did that there, it's gonna stick those two edges together like a bracelet. Okay. And then you can actually flip it right side out so that you can hide your seam. Now, my two ends are a little bit of a different size, but you could cut that off and even that up so they fit a little bit nicer. Okay, then, so you have your little seam and you can create your little bracelet, decorate it however you like, and you have another use. Now, another thing you can do is make your own bag out of bags. So I'll show you how to make a smaller bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into a little bit of a more even square. Now all these leftover pieces I have, you can put those in a bag somewhere. Maybe the bag you're gonna create will be for your pieces. And you can use those for any upcoming projects that you've got going on. Okay, save those. So I've got a square, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I want that gray side sticking out, so I'm going to fold that up just like this, okay? And I'm going to take my parchment and I'm going to iron just those edges, okay? Getting a seam. Okay. And 
then I'm gonna do the other side. I'm just gonna flip it so I can see it a little bit better. open it and then just check to see if it went. So I missed a spot up here, so I'm just gonna fix that. Check it. It's still coming apart, but maybe I'll cut it. Then you've got your little bag. Now you can flip it right side out so that you have that nice seam. I kind of like this idea because what I'm going to do later is you can actually add little decorations on the end of your seams, all kinds of things, okay? And maybe with your leftover pieces, you can create your handles. Now it's the same thing. Just take some of those pieces. Hopefully that sealed it. That's there we go. So you can take some of your leftover pieces and create a strap. Okay. And the exact same thing, we're going to set it down like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my parchment paper inside the bag because if I were just put this on top and iron it, I'm going to close up my bag and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to just fold a little piece here and stick it inside. I want that to stick in just a little bit. Fold it so it's like that. Okay. And you just want to focus on those two spots if you can. Now you'll see I'm kind of using the tip of the iron because I don't want to iron down the rest of my bag. Now you can also use hot glue, you can sew it, you can do all kinds of things, okay? Okay, and then you've got your little bag, okay? And you can do all kinds of things, so you can make a little bag like that, and then you can decorate it. You can take two uh, pieces and put them together so you would have six bags. You can make something large. Explore around, see what all kinds of things that you can do. All right, so that's it for recycling bags. I hope you had fun and take care. Thank you.